My family was, in, in all cases, were well represented in defending the country. And, mm -hmm. and I'm proud of that. Our country is something to defend. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't any doubt, you know, uh, about our defending, because you, you realize that this country did not uh, declare war until it was after uh, Germany and Italy had decided, you know, had uh, declared war on us. It was only then that our president declared war. Now, a lot of people are not aware of that. They think that just automatically the next day we went to war, but that, that that's not true. However, we, our country had been building up supplies and materiel uh, for war. Part of it was in, on sale to um, Britain, but the, everybody everybody in the world knew that somehow or other uh, we were going to be involved in that war. And one of the things that uh, that always troubled me a lot uh, was the, sometimes the lack of some of our uh, illustrious people in, in Congress. They didn't see the advantage of buying Howard Hughes uh, airplane design, which was the best in the world at that time, and guess who bought it? Japan did, and they used that very, that very um, uh, airplane to clobber us in, in the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Now this is, this is another true story a lot of people don't know. Well, the thing of it is, this was a surprise attack. Uh, nobody, nobody really and truly expected that. It's certainly not the military. We had a good military uh, strength in Hawaii, just in case. But I don't think anybody really expected what happened. I, I don't think, I don't think they were prepared for that. As a matter of fact, it has been said over and over that they were not prepared for that. They didn't, they didn't expect that to happen. And we've got. Uh, 2,300 or more bodies lying in that, I think the ship is Arizona, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think that was it, uh, that they were on board and it, uh, all of them were killed at, at, that t at, at that time. And you can't forget about that because those 2,300 boys belong to somebody, some of us. You know, mm -hmm. and you you can't forget about that, and especially in Hawaii because two of my brothers had served uh, time in the army uh, over in in Hawaii. So you just you just felt that you had been violated beyond all reasonable doubt, and I, to this day I don't know. I don't think anybody else does either. Know why in the world except a war crazy. Uh, president or whatever his his title was in Japan they had you know their uh, emissaries had been here and supposedly uh, there was some kind of a beef about something and Roosevelt and the emissaries they sent from Japan had a very special meeting but they did leave here with the idea that uh, nothing was going to happen and and that was only just days before it did happen so uh, that gave the Americans a very bad taste in the mouth for a long, long time, you know, uh, because that's what they were planning to do the very day they were here and said, well, they weren't going to do it, but they did. I hope that none of you ever have to live through any of that kind of, uh, kind of stuff because you don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know if that brings in an enemy uh, to your house. We always have to thank our God and, and be thankful that it didn't get us. I don't think that I would, I'm alone in saying that. Any, any mother who had a, uh, or a wife who had a husband or a son in the war, I'm sure felt like I did. But naturally, we wanted it over with too. And so when, um, our president was had to make a decision on what to do about the atomic bomb. I said, bomb them. They had no compunction about bombing us with everything they had, so bomb them. And I've never felt regret, and even though I know, uh, have known personally a few Japanese in that time, 
at the same time, I, my feeling is exactly the same. Uh, they had that tyrant who was running the country, who mm -hmm. they don't have, you know, anymore. They're our good friends now. And remember, it was uh, uh, one of our old general, General MacArthur, who, mm -hmm. who in the long run uh, had control of putting that country back together after the war, after we had, had bombed it and had done all of that. And as you know, from just what has happened there. The United States and Japan are really the great friends. It's, it's no longer a warring nation, mm -hmm. and we certainly are not looking for war. I hope neither one of you ever, ever have to see us get into an, another thing. When this is over in uh, Afghanistan, uh, I hope that will be the last of wars for a well, in your lifetime and a few others, you know. Mm -hmm. But you can't let, you can't let renegade uh, countries like uh, mm -hmm. Afghanistan send people over and, and bomb us and cause it, the terrible condition that they caused over here. And when you think of it, this, our, our country has never been a, a, a belligerent country. It never, in my lifetime anyhow, and I've got a pretty good amount of life to talk about. It has not uh, been in our country's interest ever, only in war if we have to go. And so that, that's it.